Hi, I'm Dr. John Hovenassian. In this video, we'll describe a successful method for treating epithelial ingrowth after LASIK surgery. This 54-year-old patient had undergone an enhancement surgery after LASIK and developed epithelial ingrowth over a large portion of the flap interface, which was lifted and removed on three prior occasions only to have it return. The approach that we took was first to remove surface epithelium from both the flap itself and the surrounding corneal tissue. This exposed then the flap interface, which can be lifted using here a Sinsky hook, which establishes the plane of dissection where the original flap was created. The blunt side of the Sinsky hook is used to lift the edge, and we find that adhesion is developed at the edge of the prior ingrowth, and so special attention is given to dissect this apart carefully. Next, we take some time using the side of a 15-blade scalpel to scrape the epithelium from both the underside of the flap and the stromal surface of the cornea that's exposed to remove every bit of epithelium that's possible. Generally, this will come off in sheets, but sometimes there are loose nests of cells, and using a dual-handed technique with two wax cell sponges is helpful, as well as using balanced salt solution to irrigate away any residual debris or cells. Once the flap is back in position and we've dried the gutter, we then can use a 10 nylon suture. And we use a continuous running fashion suture that begins at the far extent where the flap was lifted and then runs in shallow bites around the interface to hold the flap down. Now the purpose here is to close the conduit, the space through which epithelium is thought to gain access to the space beneath the corneal flap. At the end of its extent, the suture is then tied down to itself so that we have a fairly tight suture so that it will again close that conduit. Next, we attempt to finally seal off the fistula by using fibrin tissue adhesive. In this case, Avicel, a product of Ethicon, is used. And first, the thrombin solution at full strength is dispensed from the end of a 1 cc syringe with no needle. This is placed on the previously very dry flap interface edge, and then the excess tissue is actually dried before placing the fibrinogen. We use the fibrinogen very sparingly. It is not necessary to have a lot of excessive fibrinogen on the surface as it only impairs vision and creates a foreign body sensation. Next, a second application of thrombin is given. This is intended to cause polymerization of the fibrinogen from the surface, just as the previously applied thrombin caused polymerization from the undersurface where the fibrin was applied. A bandage contact lens is placed, and the patient is seen the next day. Typically, the eye has a fairly cloudy appearance because of the fibrinogen on the surface. In this patient with prior radial keratotomy, the barrier effect of the fibrinogen is applied over the entire corneal surface and it's evident that it is still in place. Results of fibrin tissue adhesive treated epithelial ingrowth were examined by David Hardin in a published study in which no recurrence was found in almost 80 percent of cases, while 13 percent had insignificant recurrence and only 8 percent had significant recurrence. I'm Dr. John Hovenessian. Thanks for watching.